There may not be tanks in our streets, but make no mistake, we are witnessing an assault on the rule of law and the foundations of our democracy. Just today, before this graduation ceremony started, we heard from the special counsel, Robert Mueller, who said there were multiple systemic efforts to interfere in our election, and that allegation deserves the attention of every American. And I am thrilled, I'm thrilled to be... A but what we've seen from the administration is the complete refusal to condemn a foreign power who attacked our democracy or to take even the most basic steps to protect our voting systems for the future. Despite the fact that all of the professionals who study this say more attacks are coming. And it's so clear that there is a real challenge to get to the root of that problem. In fact, it seems clear, it seems absolutely clear that we've got to deal with what has been investigated and reported. Uh, Madam President, that has a nice ring to it. Um, <laughs> when I think about the future, I, I think about what do we do when people in positions of authority are not held accountable? when they defy requests from the Congress, when they spread misinformation online. Now, why do I bring this up at this joyous occasion of your graduation? Because the future of this democracy truly does depend on you. Few of the members of this class, I think, honestly, we could be here for a couple of... And it can be tempting to read the news and throw your hands up and conclude, Nothing matters, nothing will change, so why even bother? But it does really, really matter, and this is no time for apathy. Instead, it should be a time for action. It is an honor for me to follow in the footsteps of the illustrious. The question for each of us to answer, especially you graduates, is will the symbol of this troubled age be the cynics shrug? Or will it be the raised hand of the volunteer, the activists rolled up sleeves, the linked arms and marching feet of people who demand justice and democracy? The answer is up to all of us, and yes, it is up to you. And the spirit you've shown fills me with such hope. The big-hearted, hard-working, expectations-defying spirit that earned you these diplomas is exactly what this country needs right now. And the enthusiasm and energy of the Parkland students and so many other... First, citizenship is not a spectator sport. You've got to get in the game. And in a time when we are beset by lies and propaganda, it is more important than ever to seek out credible sources of information and to use the critical thinking skills you learned at Hunter to decide what is important and what is true. And it is even more critical to hold leaders accountable, not only the wrongdoers, but the others who fail to act. Most of them know what needs to be done. They just lack the political will to do it. Infrastructure that will continue driving progress long after the cable